Inexplicably, Lin who traveled through time and became a genie guard with his own system. He decided to pursue a career in this martial arts world, but soon found that everything was somewhat different from what he had anticipated. Keywords of the novel Wuxia This Jianghu is different without pop-ups. Wuxia This Jianghu is different. Download the full text. Wuxia This Jianghu is different. Latest chapter reading Chapter 1 Dream Jianghu You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Dream Jianghu The game has finished loading, Welcome to the world of Dream Jianghu. Listening to the electronic prompt sound in his ear, Lin Hu felt a wave of excitement. Domain Jiang Jiang is developed by renowned game manufacturer Mi Huyu Company, claiming to be the first pure Chinese style martial arts VR game created by Metaverse Technology. In name, the background of this game is set during the Yongle period of the Ming Dynasty, but in reality, it integrates the worldview of many famous martial arts IPs. To put it bluntly, it is a masterpiece of various schools, but to put it bluntly, it is a chaotic stew. However, the advantage is that the game has extremely high freedom, allowing players to join various factions and experience different stories in the martial arts world. Therefore, once the game was launched, it received a lot of attention. Despite its high price, the first 10,000 devices launched were sold out overnight. As a seasoned gaming enthusiast and martial arts enthusiast, Lin Hu was the first to participate in the subscription and was lucky enough to win the bid. When he first received the full set of VR devices, Lin Hu couldn't help but feel excited. Who would have thought that the seemingly contradictory concepts of martial arts and technology could be combined in this way? The first step in entering the game is character design, starting with the name. Lin who uses his real name, and since it is a single-player game, he is not afraid of information leakage. On the contrary, this will make Lin who feel more immersed. Next are various attributes, and Lin whose luck is good. He randomly found a fairly balanced template, followed by the allocation of free attribute points on his hand. Since it's a martial arts game, the most important thing is still intelligence and luck, right? Lin Hu thought this way and added most of the attribute points to these two items. This way, after entering the game, there is a high possibility of encountering various adventures. Even if there is a situation where experts from outside the world impart their lifelong skills to you, such as opening cheats, it is not impossible. After setting the template, Lin Hu chose to start the game. Everything was normal until the progress bar was almost at the end. Suddenly, Lin Hu felt a strong sense of drowsiness, as if some force was absorbing his soul. Soon, he completely lost consciousness. When Lin Hu woke up again and found himself in a strange room, he guessed that he had already arrived at the beginner's village, and the next step was to start writing his own martial arts legend. However, Lin Hu soon realized that something was wrong. He seemed to have been tied to a wooden stake, and upon closer inspection, his body was covered in bruises, making him feel like a prisoner who had just been tortured. Is there such an opening? Lin Hu was deeply surprised, but soon he felt a sharp pain in his head, and then another person's memory began to loop through his mind like a lantern. After Lin Hu finished digesting these memories, he took a deep breath because he realized that he might have traveled through a world in the game, or a parallel time and space highly similar to the background of Dream Jianghu. I don't know if it's purely a coincidence or for some other reason, but now the original owner of this body was also called Lin Hu, who was a general flag of the Royal Guards. In fact, the official positions of the Royal Guards were mostly hereditary. For example, Lin Hu relied on his father's legacy, and he himself had no outstanding achievements or abilities. A few days ago, the Jin Wei received a tip-off that there were remnants of the Jiangwen party operating in the Hongzhou area. Although the historical background was not entirely the same as what Lin Hu knew, there was also a Jingnan battle in the world here. Similarly, there were quite a few people who were loyal to Emperor Jiangwen but dissatisfied with the current Emperor Yongle, which almost became a nightmare that the new court could not shake off. Therefore, 
They always paid special attention to matters related to the Jiangwen party, and Lin Hu and his team were sent to investigate this matter. Originally, Lin Hu thought this was just a routine matter. After all, he had received similar reports before, but often found no evidence in the end. However, the fact is that Lin Hu was wrong this time. There were not only remnants of the Jiangwen faction in this area, but also strong forces. Before Lin Hu and others could fully understand their situation, the other party had already taken the initiative and launched a surprise attack on Lin Hu's team. In a fierce battle, both sides suffered casualties, and Lin Hu didn't know whether it was luck or misfortune. He didn't die, but was captured. The other party tried to gather more information from him, so they took him back to his lair and imprisoned him. He was subjected to severe torture, and as a result, Lin Hu crossed over during this unlucky time. After understanding the ins and outs, Lin Hu felt like crying without tears, and his journey through time seemed to face a life-threatening test from the beginning. Wait, if it's time travel, there should be a system, right? Lin Hu suddenly realized something. The system is the king of time travel literature, and as a web writer, Lin Hu is very familiar with this. Thinking of this, he quickly tried to call the system, but a semi-transparent page really appeared in front of him. Welcome to the dream world, dedicated to serving you. The prompt tone on the page is very pleasant, but the tone is stiff, even mechanical, making people feel no emotion at all. Lin Hu was full of questions at this moment, whether he had traveled through time or just in the game. At this moment, he seemed to have some understanding of what Zhuang Zumengdi was, it was difficult to distinguish between reality and illusion, and now the system may be the only one that can give him an answer. Can you explain what the current situation is? You are currently in the world of Dream Jianghu. I know, do I want to ask whether this is a game or the real world? There is no answer in your question database. Can I quit then? The relevant content exceeds the system's permissions, so it cannot be answered. No, I don't know what use your system can have. Provide necessary assistance to the host. For example, what? View the host's own and others' relevant information, and accumulate skill points through tasks. After reaching the relevant quantity, you can participate in a lottery or exchange it in the mall. The prizes include various martial arts, weapons, and treasures. How do I feel so familiar with this setting? Where did you copy it from? There is no answer in your question database. Well, forget it, it doesn't matter now. So what are these tasks? The task is randomly generated by the system without a clear pattern. Taking control of my territory, right? Do I have any benefits as a beginner? Lin who tentatively asked, but even he didn't have much hope. The host can have a chance to win a lottery. The system's answer boosted Lin Hu's spirit. I didn't expect the other party to be quite generous, but soon Lin Hu felt a bit disappointed. After all, he has always been a non-chieftain in card drawing, and I don't know how lucky he is this time. However, Lin Hu suddenly realized that he had no choice but to give it a try. What if his character exploded? So he began the lottery under the guidance of the system. At that time, the display screen in front of Lin who lit up, and a lottery wheel appeared on it, but the art style felt a bit rough. What are the rules for this lottery? Lin who continued to ask his most concerned question. Each draw covers five major items. Martial arts, weapons, items, special effects, and elixirs. Each major item is divided into seven levels based on its quality, from low to high, which are G, rough, Wu, Ordinary, Ding, Excellent, C, Excellent, B, Legendary, A, Epic, and Te, Collection. What is the probability of winning each level? G, Grade E is 25%, Grade D is 20%, Grade C is 15%, Grade B is 10%, Grade A is 4%, and Special is 1%. The distribution was quite clear, Lin who couldn't help but sigh. Although he still didn't have much confidence in his luck, he gritted his teeth and chose to start the lottery. 
End of this chapter. Chapter 2. The Great Method of Transforming Merit. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 The Great Method of Transforming Merit, Congratulations, You Have Obtained the Second Level Martial Arts Secret Book. Hua Gong De Fei. With a prompt sound, a purple secret book appeared in front of the screen. At that time, Lin Hu's mood was somewhat complicated. Assuming that the system strictly followed probability in the lottery, his luck in drawing a second grade was considered to be more than enough. The technique of transforming martial arts was also advantageous in facing enemies, but as mentioned in the original novel, this set of techniques inevitably had some rare treasures compared to others. Are there any new benefits like this? Lin Hu asked. No, the system's answer remained brief and cold. Forget it, how can I learn this great method of transforming energy? Soon a prompt box appeared on the screen. Do you want to learn the technique? Lin Hu hesitated for a moment, but ultimately chose yes. At that time, he felt as if an invisible force had entered his body, quickly spreading to every corner of his body. At the same time, information about the great technique of transformation began to play in his mind like a lantern, and he remembered it completely in just one go, as if he had memorized it hundreds or thousands of times. It would be great if studying could be so convenient, Lin who couldn't help but exclaim at the time. In such a short amount of time, Lin who had already fully mastered the technique of transforming martial arts. Suddenly, Lin who felt as if he had completely transformed himself, and his whole body was full of strength. So now that I have learned the great method of transforming martial arts. Players can confirm in the personal information bar. What does the personal information section look like? Just as Lin Hu finished asking about the system page, he noticed a change and a form that looked particularly like a job application resume appeared. Name Lin Hu Realm Hidden Yuan Realm Upper Level Identity General Flag of the Royal Guard's Reputation Negligible, 5 out of 100, Martial Arts Hua Gong De Fa, Full Level, Wu Hu Chasing Wind Blade, Level 3, Fu Hu Quan, Level 2, Sitting and Forgetting Mind Technique, Level 2, Skill Point. 0. What's going on with the upper level of the Hidden Yuan Realm? Lin Hu asked. This is the strength level divided by the system based on reality for players, with a total of 9 levels, from low to high. Yin Yuan, Dong Ming, Yao Guang, Kai Yang, Yu Heng, Tian Quan, Tian Ji, Tian Xian, and Tian Shu. Each level is further divided into three stages. Initial, middle, and upper, resulting in a total of 27 levels. Where are you referring to? Are you showing it clearly or copying it? So, isn't my current level in the hidden Yuan realm at a very basic level? Yes, the system's answer was resolute and merciless. So how can we improve? Learn and train, or obtain precious pills and props. So, will I be able to quickly reach the next level in my future studies like this one? No, there is only one opportunity for beginner benefits. In the future, players will only have two ways to obtain skills. One is through lottery or exchange in the system. The initial default proficiency level is level 1, and as the player's cultivation level gradually increases, the other is to learn on their own in the world of Dream Jianghu. The process and method are basically the same. In this regard, you have become more realistic again. When Lin Hu roast, the door of the room opened, and two people came in, one tall and the other short, wearing masks like bank robbers on their heads, as if they were afraid of being recognized. Oh, our flag master is awake. We have prepared some fresh things to greet you, said the short man, and Lin who carefully examined the various torture tools in their hands. Can you help me escape from the system? Lin who whispered at the time. No. The system's answer was very straightforward. At that time, Lin who couldn't help but laugh and cry. He thought to himself that this system was not very useful except for troublemaking himself. The current situation could only be solved by himself. 
At this moment, the short man picked up a whip and swung it, the tip of the whip hitting the ground with a crisp sound. It can be imagined what the consequences would be if it were struck on a person. Master of the general flag, although it's a klitsch a d conversation, we still need to ask again beforehand, are you really using or not? I'll take it, I'll take it all. Okay, you have backbone, right. The short man was momentarily taken aback. What did you say earlier? I admit it, I can't bear being tortured by you for so many days. As long as you promise not to kill me, not to torture me anymore, just ask me if you want to know anything, I know everything without hesitation. The two masked people were both confused at the time. They interrogated Lin Hu for several days, but he refused to accept both the hard and the soft. Today, they had already planned several new forms of torture to force him to submit. Unexpectedly, why did he suddenly change his personality? Lin Hu saw their thoughts and quickly explained, Don't misunderstand, both of you. I just figured it out. I'm still young and don't even have any children. It wouldn't be worth it if I just died here. Moreover, I haven't sent anyone to save me for so many days. It seems that I don't care about my life or death anymore. If they are cruel, they will allow me to be unjust. One tall and one short, Wen Ting glanced at each other and felt that what he said was not unreasonable. This is actually human nature, but he had always been a person who would rather die than surrender. Now this change is quite abrupt, isn't it? Lin Hu continued, you two still don't believe me. I'm also flesh and blood, not iron. You two should try what it feels like to be tortured for so many days. Besides, it's you who forced me to confess. Now that I really plan to recruit you but don't believe me, is it too difficult to be a person? As soon as he heard it, he thought it was right. At that time, the tall man said, let's trust you for now. Can you tell us how many people you've brought this time? I said, but could you please help me loosen my binding rope first? You guys are tying it too tightly, making it difficult for me to concentrate. The short man smiled and said, aren't you called Lin Hu? How could you not tie a tiger tightly? You two are joking. At best, I'm just a paper tiger. You two should act well. I'm either letting you untie it or loosening it a bit, and I can't escape. As the saying goes, you have to give me a sweet date even after hitting a stick. Who would be a traitor if you don't order any sweetness? One tall and one short almost lost their temper upon hearing this. They thought to themselves that they hadn't seen this person for a long time and seemed to have changed. They didn't expect that this Lin Hu was really not that Lin Hu. After discussing, the short man came forward and untied the rope for Lin Hu. You better not play tricks, kid, otherwise, the short man said before finishing his sentence. Suddenly, he felt his internal strength rapidly disappearing, as if seeing the scorching sun and frost. At that time, he realized that it was Lin Hu who was playing tricks, intending to break free, but as if he was stuck in glue, he couldn't move. What's wrong with you? The tall man beside him noticed a change in the situation and quickly asked. Help me. The short man's internal strength leaked out at this moment, and even his speech became intermittent. At this moment, the tall man vaguely realized that Lin Hu was causing trouble, and with a move of the grappling hand, he grabbed Lin Hu's shoulder. However, before he could exert his strength, he faced the same situation as the short man. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Study You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Study After about a minute, these two were limping on the ground like deflated balls, gasping for breath. At this moment, Lin Hu was able to break free from the binding rope with ease. Looking at the two underground, he couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. In fact, he was also taking a risk just now, but he didn't expect these two to take the bait so smoothly. At this moment, one tall and one short looked at Lin Hu with a frightened look. They had previously engaged in a fight and estimated that Lin Hu's martial arts would not exceed the initial level of the Dongming realm. 
what they knew was only ordinary martial arts such as the five tigers chasing the wind blade. Therefore, they couldn't understand what was going on earlier, and even suspected that Lin Hu knew some kind of witchcraft. At this moment, Lin Hu moved his limbs, which were somewhat numb from being tied up, and lowered his head to charge higher and lower, saying, you two should have fallen into such a situation now. I shouldn't have taken your lives anymore, but unfortunately, I am in a dangerous situation now, and some facts are not daring to take risks. Moreover, thanks to your care in the past few days, this can be considered a return for return. One tall and one short could hear that Lin who was trying to use poison. At that time, he wanted to shout for help loudly, but unfortunately, at this moment, both of them were extremely weak and didn't even have the strength to shout. Lin who found a sharp dagger from a pile of torture tools and saved their lives cleanly. Looking at the bodies of the two, Lin who was slightly stunned. Lin who, as a member of the royal guards, naturally did a lot of killing and killing. These memories are still present in Lin Hu today, but it is still different from personally taking action. Strictly speaking, this is his first time killing someone, and it is impossible to say that he was completely unmoved. However, Lin Hu suddenly realized that the current situation was one of life and death, and he couldn't help but think more about it. At that time, he wiped the blood stains on the dagger with the sole of his shoe, and then tiptoed to the door, gently opening a gap. Looking outside, there was a guard standing at the door, but he seemed to be unaware of what was happening inside and was leisurely yawning there. Lin Hu saw the rare opportunity and suddenly opened the door. He reached out and grabbed the other person's wrist. By the time the person understood, his internal strength had begun to rapidly dissipate, and soon he collapsed to the ground. Lin Hu dared not neglect, and his hasty efforts ended in his life. Until it was confirmed that the other party had died, Lin Hu took a deep breath and began to observe the situation around him. It seemed like a large mansion, and his position should be near the firewood house. It was already approaching dusk, and the sunset cast a layer of orange-red on the surroundings. According to Lin Hu's memory, there were at least dozens of remaining members of the Jiangwen faction, including some experts. This was their lair, and they had to escape as soon as possible. Thinking of this, Lin Hu threw the body of the guard into the house, and he quickly left the small courtyard. However, soon he realized that the courtyard was too large and he was not familiar with the terrain, so he could only wander around like a headless fly. Suddenly, Lin Hu heard footsteps coming from ahead. It was obvious that someone was coming. This was a narrow alley, and it was too late to retreat from the original path. Coincidentally, there was a small courtyard next to it, and the door was open. Lin who didn't have time to think about it, so he quickly hid inside. Until the footsteps outside gradually faded away, Lin who finally breathed a sigh of relief. He thought to himself that it was really dangerous just now. He couldn't help but stumble so recklessly. If only he could have a topographic map. At this moment, Lin Hu observed the surroundings and found that the small courtyard was not big, but the environment was quiet and the furnishings were quite elegant. It didn't seem like an ordinary person's residence. At this time, it was late summer and early autumn, and the weather was still a bit hot. Therefore, the doors and windows of the main room were all open. Lin Hu glanced at it as if it was a study, and there should be no one inside. He thought it was better to go and hide first, and wait for the opportunity to escape when it was dark. Perhaps he could find some useful information. Thinking of this, Lin Hu tiptoed into the room and saw that there was really no one around. There was a book lying upside down on the desk, as if someone had left halfway through. It was only for the sake of convenience that he handled it this way. Lin Hu, out of curiosity, looked at the book title on the cover and couldn't help but be surprised. It turned out that it was written, Secret Nine Dragons and Lions Technique. Lin Hu has some memories of this world, so he knows that, Nine Dragons and Lions skill, is a unique skill of the Wudang sect here, with a great reputation. It only takes two months to train into the body of the Vitra, like a dragon scale protecting the body, making it invincible to weapons and knives. 
It is said that this skill has been perfected to the fullest extent, and every punch and foot has the power of the nine dragons and nine lions, hence the name. Wudung sect is renowned for its martial arts, but the nine dragons and lions technique is one of the few techniques in its system that is practiced from the outside in. Therefore, it is quite famous, and Lin who did not expect to find this book here. Isn't it fake? Lin who couldn't help feeling curious for a moment. He looked around and saw that there was no one around. At that time, he bravely picked up the book and flipped through it from beginning to end. Due to the martial arts foundation left by Lin Hu here, and his mastery of the great technique of transformation, Lin Hu now has a certain understanding of martial arts. He only flipped through a few pages to confirm that this secret book is true, and the content is much more exquisite than what is circulated in the martial arts world. No wonder there is a secret biography written here. It seems that this should be something that only insiders of Wudong can learn, but how could it be here? Lin Hu was puzzled for a moment. At the same time, Lin Hu found that his memory seemed to have become particularly good. As long as he saw the content, he could immediately remember it, and with just a little thought, he could understand the essence of it. He suddenly realized that this might be related to his extremely high intelligence set when he logged into the game, so now he is learning any martial arts at an unusually fast pace. Sure enough, Lin Hu only glanced at the entire secret book in a hurry, and the system automatically popped up. Mai Mai used the mechanical voice to remind him, master the new skill, Nine Dragons and Lions skill, at level 1. At that time, Lin Hu couldn't help but be surprised and delighted. He didn't expect that learning martial arts here would be so easy. As a result, his journey through time didn't seem as bad as he had anticipated. Then Lin Hu flipped through the desk again, wanting to see if there were any other valuable things. However, he found a letter with the words, Mr. Saima personally opened it. Lin Hu felt that the name was not appropriate and seemed more like an alias. Out of curiosity, he opened the letter and looked at it, but was surprised. Originally, this letter was written by Zhou, a current member of the Ministry of War, to this group of remnants of the founding party. From the content, it seems that these people are planning to assassinate the current Emperor Yongle. Lin Hu thought this was important intelligence, and if it were handed over to Shang Feng, it would undoubtedly be a great achievement. Thinking of this, Lin Hu quickly collected the letter. Who? While Lin Hu was happy, he suddenly heard someone nearby stop drinking, which scared him so much that he even lost the secret script of Nine Dragons and Lion's Skill. Turning his head, he saw a middle-aged man in his forties who had entered the yard at some point. Although I haven't seen the other person's appearance, based on his body shape, Lin Hu judged that the other person should be one of the leaders who led the team to sneak attack him and his team before. This person is highly skilled in martial arts, and several of his own people were killed by him. Lin Hu saw that there was no time to hide in the current situation. At that time, he took the initiative to launch an attack and raised a dagger to stab the opponent. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Map You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Map Even the faint hidden Yuan realm dared to cause trouble, it was beyond their capacity. The other party sneered and easily avoided Lin Hu's blow, then grabbed the pulse of their left hand with their backhand. However, before the middle-aged man could exert force, they suddenly felt their internal strength burst out. The great method of absorbing stars exclaimed the middle-aged man, who had long heard of a unique skill in the demon cult that specialized in absorbing the internal power of others for his own use. The people in the martial arts world were pale in comparison. At this point, he recognized that the opponent was the previously captured royal guards. Although this person had average martial arts skills, he would not have become a prisoner of his own side. How could he now have such a unique skill? However, at this moment, the situation did not allow the middle-aged person to think carefully. Internal power was equivalent to a second life for martial artists, and he dared not let this situation develop. When he thought of it, the middle-aged person immediately held on to the element and defended it, 
with his strength contracting inwardly to avoid the leakage of internal power. However, this weakened his control over Lin Hu, who immediately got rid of it. Then, with a backhand, he stabbed the opponent's throat with a dagger. MMM, the middle-aged man let out a muffled groan. Instinctively, he grabbed Lin Hu's arm with both hands, and if his skills were normal, he would be able to twist Lin Hu's arm. However, as soon as he exerted force, his internal strength began to leak out uncontrollably, disappearing like a mud ox into the sea without a trace. At this point, middle-aged people face a dilemma. If they don't use Lin Hu's dagger hard, they can take their own life. However, if they continue to use force, they may soon lose all their internal strength and become useless, and it will still be difficult to escape death. The middle-aged man was quite unwilling in his heart. He didn't expect that he, with all his skills, would die at the hands of such an unknown little character. In the end, the middle-aged man exerted all his strength and flew a kick, finally kicking Lin Hu out and knocking over his desk. At that time, Lin Hu was also taken aback and thought that this was over. If the other party continued to pursue him, it would be more or less ominous. However, after waiting for a while, the other party did not approach. Lin Hu couldn't help but be stunned, and sat up to take a look, enduring the pain. He saw the middle-aged man lying on the ground, his back against the bookshelf, already gasping for breath. It turned out that the previous foot had exhausted his only remaining strength, and he could no longer move. At that moment, the middle-aged man met Lin Hu with four eyes, and both sides knew that whoever recovered first would take the initiative. However, Lin Hu suffered much less damage than the middle-aged man. Therefore, he struggled to stand up first, picked up the fallen dagger, and once again plunged it into the middle-aged man's throat. In order to prevent his shouting from attracting him, Lin Hu tightly covered the other person's mouth with his other hand. At that time, the distance between the two was so close that Lin Hu could clearly see the change in the middle-aged man's eyes, from the initial pain to the subsequent resentment. Eventually, his eyes gradually rolled up and lost their luster. It was a long time before Lin Hu dared to let go, and by this time, the middle-aged man had already died. Watching the other person's miserable situation and smelling the bloody smell in the air, Lin Hu gradually regained his composure after a long time. He realized that this was not a place to stay for a long time, and that someone might come at some point. Thinking of this, he quickly got up and stumbled out. Just as he arrived at the entrance of the courtyard, he suddenly heard footsteps coming from outside. At that time, Lin Hu was in a great hurry. His whole body was in pain and he was quite tired. If there were a few more people, he was not sure he could escape. Suddenly, he saw that the courtyard wall next to him was not too high. Lin Hu in this world should have some lightness skills. Thinking of this, Lin Hu's heart was horizontal, and he jumped up and successfully climbed onto the wall. Then, he flipped over to the next courtyard. At this moment, he only heard a cry of surprise from behind, as if someone had found the body of a middle-aged man. Lin Hu dared not delay and hurriedly left. Although Lin Hu has temporarily escaped the danger, he still faces a problem. He doesn't know how to leave this mansion, and the threat has not been lifted in the end. Oh, if only there were a map, Lin Hu couldn't help but mutter at this moment. Unexpectedly, as soon as he finished speaking, the system page automatically popped up again, and Mai Mai said in a cold tone, the map is open. Then a floor plan of the building appeared in front of Lin Hu, and after observing for a while, Lin Hu confirmed that it was actually a map of the courtyard. The sleeping trough actually has this function. By the way, can you mark the positions of me and the guards? Sure. As soon as Mai Mai finished speaking, scattered light dots appeared on the map, and the location of Lin Hu was specially marked with red light dots. At this point, Lin Hu is too lazy to argue with this clumsy system. He must leave here as soon as possible. With the guidance of the map, Lin Hu finally no longer needs to run aimlessly like a headless fly. And because he knows the location of the guards, he can quickly choose the best route. Finally, 
when he lights up, Lin Hu successfully escapes from the courtyard. After leaving the mansion, Lin Hu first found a secluded small forest and rested under a big tree. In fact, this escape journey also consumed his great energy. Now he was tired, thirsty, and hungry, and wished to have a good sleep first. However, Lin Hu knew that he had not completely escaped from the danger, so he forced himself to stand up and went to the nearby small creek to drink two sips of water, wash his face, and finally woke up to some extent. Lin Hu pondered that it was necessary to contact the government as soon as possible. At that time, he checked the map and found that the nearest village was still nearly five kilometers away. Although Lin Hu was exhausted now, he had to grit his teeth and move forward. As a result, less than two kilometers away, Lin Hu suddenly noticed a flickering firelight ahead, as if a large team of people were approaching. Lin Hu was not sure if it was an enemy or a friend, so he hid in the nearby forest, tightly holding the dagger that followed him through life and death. Although if it were really an enemy, facing so many opponents with this weapon would be of no use. However, as the other party approached, Lin Hu took a closer look under the firelight and almost jumped up with joy. Old man, old Li, it's me, Lin Hu shouted as he walked out of the forest to stop the group of people. There were dozens of people coming, and the two leaders were riding on horses, wearing flying fish uniforms and embroidered spring knives. The experts knew at a glance that this was the standard attire of the royal guards. The group of people who came rushed out from the roadside, covered in blood stains. At first, they were also surprised until they heard their cries. The two riders on the horse felt a bit familiar, and upon closer inspection, they recognized it as Lin Hu. They quickly dismounted to respond. Old Lin, how did you become like this? These two people on horseback were Lin Hu's friends, one was Wen Wencheng, a hundred households of the royal guards, and the other was Li Qi, the general flag of the royal guards. They all came from a royal family and grew up together. When they saw them, Lin Hu's tense spirit finally relaxed after a long time. Then, when it was dark in front of him, he became unconscious. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Remnants. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5 Remnants When Lin Hu opened his eyes again, he was already lying on a soft and comfortable bed. He turned his head and saw that it was already dawn. Wang and Li were both inside the room. When he saw that Lin Hu was awake, he quickly welcomed him. Old Lin, have you woken up? Where is this? Don't worry, we are now in the city of Hongzhou. Did you save me? Otherwise. By the way, you really scared us. We just met and didn't say a word before we fainted. Then we fell asleep for a day and a night, so scared that the old man and I almost thought you were going back to your place. Lin Hu smiled bitterly and said, I really wandered around the entrance of the ghost gate this time. By the way, I know the hiding place of those remnants of the Jiangwen party. At this moment, Wen Wenqing said, is it a mountain villa less than five miles away from that small forest? What, you already know? Not long after we rescued you, we received news that the villa was caught in a big fire, and the entire villa was burned into ruins. Unfortunately, no one was found to have been injured or killed. When we got back to your situation, we naturally thought that it was the group of people who found you running away, fearing that the stronghold would be exposed. Therefore, we decided to set fire to the ruins. This group of people is also fierce enough, so if a large villa were burned down, it would be burned down. I see, these people are really quick. By the way, I also found a secret letter that they colluded with court officials. Secret letter. Is it the letter you carried with you when you escaped? Li Qi quickly said upon hearing it. That's right, where is it? Li Qi quickly found the secret letter from the nearby table at this moment. I wasn't sure what letter it was at the time, but it must have been important to see how well you collected it, so I deliberately left it behind. Upon hearing this, Lin Hu couldn't help but secretly sigh. Fortunately, he discovered that this letter was from his own childhood friend Li Qi. 
Otherwise, if someone else had either lost it or was greedy for his own achievements, Lin Hu would have let Wang and Li read the letter in front of him, and they were both surprised and happy. Wang Wenqing excitedly patted Lin Hu's shoulder and said, Old Lin, you have made great contributions this time. Just wait for promotion. It doesn't matter whether I can get promoted or not. I am grateful for my safe escape this time. At this moment, Li Qi asked, By the way, how did you escape, Lao Lin? Judging from your appearance at the time, it should have been quite dangerous, right? Lin Hu was slightly taken aback upon hearing this. He thought that the reason why he was able to escape was all thanks to the system's help, but it was inconvenient to disclose this to Wang Enli. They said that the other party probably wouldn't believe it, so he deliberately concealed some details. Wang Enli also heard that his statement was somewhat untrue, but they were all friends. Since Lin Hu didn't want to disclose it openly, they didn't ask deeply. After Lin Hu was captured, he suffered greatly and it took a lot of energy to escape. Therefore, he stayed in Hongzhou City for the next few days to rest. Wang, Li, and others reported the secret letter Lin Hu received while continuing to search for the group of Jiang Wen remnants. However, the other party seemed to have disappeared without a trace for a while. On that day, Lin Hu was resting in the house when suddenly Li Qi brought in two people. Lin Hu knew them all from the royal guards, and one of them was Zhang Deong, a thousand households. The highest leader of the Jin Yi Wei is the commander, who governs 17,000 households. Each thousand household has a thousand households, deputy thousand households, and below is a hundred households. Below the hundred households is the general flag, below the general flag is the small flag, and below is the ordinary soldier. Of course, this does not include some civilian administrative officials. Lin Hu, Wen Wencheng, and others happen to be under the jurisdiction of Zhang Deong. In other words, this was their immediate superior. Therefore, as soon as Lin Hu saw him, he wanted to get off the bed and salute, but Zhang Deong reached out and stopped him. Your injury hasn't healed yet, there's no need to be polite, just lie down and answer. Lin Hu looked at Zhang Deong and others with a stern expression, as if there was something wrong. He didn't show much courtesy at the moment. As a result, Zhang Deong and others moved three chairs and sat next to Lin Hu's bed. One of them even took out the four treasures of the study, which seemed to be preparing to record something. After a moment of contemplation, Lin Hu suddenly understood. Open your head, are you suspicious of me? Zhang Deong gave a perfunctory smile and said, I'm not suspicious of you, but there are many things I need to confirm with you about this incident. Can you elaborate on your experience from being captured until being rescued by the old man and his team again? It's best not to miss a word. Lin who understood that despite Zhang Dayong's words, the senior management still had doubts about him. However, it was not difficult to understand that he could escape from the enemy's guarded lair alone, which was somewhat unbelievable. Moreover, there were still many unclear details, which naturally led to suspicion. At that time, Lin Hu had to patiently recount the process, but he still kept things about the system hidden. Zhang Deong was on official duty this time, so he asked more carefully than Wang Yenli, and there was someone else keeping records next to him. These were all to be handed over to Shangfen, and if not, they would have to be recorded in the archives. After listening to Lin Hu's account, Zhang Deong furrowed his brow and said, Old Lin, you are also a descendant of the royal guards. There are some things that I don't need to teach you anymore. If what you are saying now is not entirely true, the consequences will be unimaginable if we pursue it at the peak. Lin Hu smiled bitterly and said, Zhang Tu, I understand all of this, so what I just said is the truth. Zhang Deong said, Old Lin, everyone is a brother who grew up together from a young age. I'll just say some things directly. With your little kung fu, everyone knows. How could you even escape from the opponent's lair by killing several people? I can see this, but you don't think the peak can see it. If you don't tell the truth, I can't even help you. Lin who understood that what Zhang Deong was saying was true. 
the people of the royal guards were not foolish, and they were ruthless in their actions. If they didn't provide a reasonable explanation for something, it would inevitably cause trouble. Thinking of this, Lin who had to reveal the matter of the great transformation technique, but he still didn't say that it came from the system, only that he had learned it by chance. Zhang Deong glanced at Li Qi and others upon hearing this, and then asked, Is what you said, Lao Lin, true or false? Zhang Tu, offended. Lin Hu said and grabbed Zhang Daoyong's hand, but the latter felt his internal strength rapidly disappearing at the time. He was so scared that Zhang Daoyong jumped up from his chair, as if he had been bitten by poisonous insects and beasts. What's going on? Zhang Daoyong's face turned pale at the time. As I have said, this is called the great method of transforming merit. Dot. Lin Hu said indifferently, as if recounting an extremely ordinary matter. Zhang Deong and others seemed somewhat incredulous, and then the three of them tried again. The results were naturally predictable. After such an experiment, Zhang Deong and others were all indifferent to Lin Hu, and there seemed to be a reasonable explanation for his ability to escape from the enemy's nest, but then there were new questions. Old Lin, how did you learn this Kung Fu? I said it was learned by chance. The four words luck and coincidence may not convince Shangfeng. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Lao Hu You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Lao Hu Shangfeng is just worried that I will be lured by the remnants of Jiang Wen and become a spy. As long as I clear this suspicion, those masters won't care too much about where I learned my unique skills. Besides, Zhang Tu, you must have a way to deal with it. My martial arts have improved, which is good for the genie way. At first glance, Zhang Deong refused to reveal the truth about Lin Hu's actions, but this is not new in the martial arts world. A unique skill is too important for martial artists, and many times he is too secretive about his own family and disciples, let alone outsiders. Zhang Deong and others are quite familiar with Lin Hu, knowing that although he has average abilities, he has always been loyal to the court. As long as the suspicion of being a spy can be cleared, there is no need to delve into other matters. Therefore, in the end, Zhang Deong and others accepted Lin Hu's words, asked him to read the records, signed his name, and went back to hand over the mission. I don't know how Zhang Deong and others explained to Shangfeng, but in the end, the senior management did not continue to investigate this matter. It should have been said that Lin Hu was defeated and captured, and should have been punished. However, he managed to escape on his own and obtained the secret letter, which was considered to make up for his mistake. Therefore, Shangfeng not only did not punish him, but also rewarded him and gave him a month off to recuperate. In this way, Zhang Deong and others continued to trace the remnants of Jiang Wen in Hangzhou, while Lin Hu returned to Nanjing early. That's right, according to the plan, the capital of the Ming dynasty was still located here at this time, and the famous Forbidden City is still under construction. Lin whose parents here have passed away. He is an only child and has no brothers or sisters, so he is quiet. Being carefree and carefree is the standard configuration for a martial arts protagonist, Lin who couldn't help but sigh after returning to his relatively deserted home. It seems that most martial arts works love to set the protagonist as an orphan or have relatively simple family relationships. Lin who was also an online writer before his time traveling, so from his personal perspective, it seems that this way of creation is more convenient. Otherwise, it involves too many family members and family conflicts, and the story is inevitably somewhat trivial, after all, martial arts stories are not family mediation programs. In fact, during this month's vacation, Lin Hu has not been idle. During this period, he has basically determined that he cannot return to his original world for a while. Since that is the case, he needs to do some business here. Although the identity of the royal guards has many constraints, it also provides him with a good platform. As long as he can seize the opportunity, fame and status are easy to obtain, and even when a page of history, it is not impossible. Lin who thought about using his own resources to come up with the fastest way to improve his martial arts cultivation. 
Although the royal guards belong to the officialdom, true experts will still have a place to use. Therefore, as soon as his body recovered, Lin Hu began to practice the martial arts he had learned. The great technique of transforming martial arts is already at its full level, and it is worth mentioning it. It is rare to learn that nine dragons and lions technique during the last time I was captured. If this technique is practiced to a great extent, its power is not insignificant. After a period of effort, Lin Hu finally elevated the nine dragons and lions technique to level five, not only improving it but also other attributes. On that day, Lin Hu suddenly opened the system to check his own status. Realm Middle level of Dongming Realm Reputation Negligible, 6 out of 100, Martial Arts Hua Gong De Fa, Full Level, 9 Dragon and Lion Skill, Level 5, 5 Tiger Chasing Wind Blade, Level 5, Fu Hu Quan, Level 4, Sitting and Forgetting Mind Technique, Level 5, the realm has also been elevated by two levels. Seeing this result, Lin Hu himself was slightly surprised. He didn't expect to make such progress in less than a month. It seems that his previously set high intelligence has indeed played a role. With this speed, he can become one of the few experts in the royal guards in less than a year and a half. However, Lin Hu felt that his learning was not enough. The only unique skills he could master now were the Hua Gong technique and the Nine Dragons and Lions technique. It was enough to deal with ordinary second and third rate characters, but it was probably not safe to encounter a first dot class expert. He still had to learn his skills. At this moment, he thought of the warehouse of the Royal Guards. It is said to be a warehouse, but what is collected here is not only miscellaneous items, but also various martial arts secrets, miraculous medicines, and even divine weapons. At this time, Emperor Yongle had already started preparing to compile the famous Yongle Encyclopedia for future generations, and had collected books from all over the world for this purpose. However, it was somewhat different from the history known to Lin Hu. During the process of compiling books, he also collected martial arts secret books from various schools and schools, and a considerable part of them is now stored in the warehouse of the Royal Guards. Therefore, when it comes to the rich collection of martial arts nowadays, only the Shaolin Sutra Pavilion and the Longhuan Jade Cave of the Gusu Murong family can be compared to the warehouse of the Genie Guard. Naturally, the guards here are also extremely strict. In addition to the three teams of school captains taking turns guarding on the surface, there are also many experts lurking in secret, especially a few of them who live there for a long time. It is said that the most recent one is also the cultivation of the Tianji realm. For many years, anyone who wants to reach out to the warehouse has had a bad ending. If you really want to learn the martial arts inside, there is only one way to become a hawk dog of the court. For Lin Hu, of course, this was not a problem. At that time, he changed into an official uniform and arrived at the warehouse. The guard at the gate knew him, but he still checked his waist tag according to the rules and confirmed that it was correct before allowing Lin Hu in. In fact, this was only the first door. Lin Hu had been here before, so he came to a small courtyard on the left side with a familiar understanding. The rooms inside were all collections of martial arts secrets, and the gatekeeper was an old man with a lion nose. He had a fierce appearance, and he loved the things in his cup the most. He drank drunk all day long, but he had never made any mistakes since guarding this place. Therefore, he did not delve into some things when he reached the peak. Lin who knew him and immediately greeted him warmly, did old who drink too much again. Old Hu lifted his eyelids and glanced at Lin Hu. At first, he seemed quite impatient, but suddenly his face changed, and his originally hazy drunk eyes suddenly became sharp. Mr. Lin, have you had any adventures recently? Upon hearing this, Lin Hu's heart was moved. He had heard a rumor that this old Hu was one of the several guardians of the treasury, with extremely high martial arts skills. He was as strong as most sect leaders in the martial arts world, but he had offended his enemies in the early years and was chased by others. Finally, he had no choice but to join the royal guards and stay here to guard the warehouse. 
Now, listening to the old Who's words, this rumor seems to be not unfounded. What kind of adventure can I have? I haven't even found any money when I'm so big, Lin Hu chuckled. Isn't that right? You should be practicing Wudang's Nine Dragons and Lion's skill, which seems to have a 40% to 50% heat level. It doesn't matter, and it seems that you are practicing an extremely sinister poison skill. Upon hearing this, Lin Hu furrowed his brow. He didn't expect this old man to have such a unique eye. The essence of the Hua Gong technique is a poisonous skill. He often needs to apply the venom of venomous snakes and insects on his hands and inhale it into his body. If he doesn't apply it for seven days, his power will decrease, and even the accumulated poison in his body will gradually backfire if not restrained. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Nangong Xiaoqing You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Nangong Xiaoqing Lao who observed his words and expressions, knowing that he was right. He couldn't help but sigh slightly and said, it's not uncommon for young people to want to stand out, but they must not take risks, otherwise they will inevitably harm others and themselves in the end. Mr. Lin, you must take good care of yourself. Lin Huyue felt more and more that this old who had an extraordinary background, and immediately asked tentatively, what exactly is your background, old who? Speaking of these old who's originally sharp eyes, they gradually calmed down, and soon returned to their usual drunken appearance. I'm just an old drunkard guarding the warehouse. It seems like I've been drinking too much today and talking drunkenly. You're the general flag, and the secret books in the room on the right side of the courtyard are all within your reach. You don't need me to remind you of the rules, you can't copy or carry them. You can check them yourself before dark. Old Who said, holding his chest in his hands and leaning on the chair as if he was not sleeping. Lin Hu has now confirmed that this old Who is not an ordinary person, but there are some things that the other party is unwilling to say, so he cannot ask more questions at the moment. After all, there are too many secrets in the royal guards, and knowing too much about these things may not always be a good thing. Upon entering the room, Lin Hu saw rows of bookshelves neatly arranged, with notes indicating the classification of martial arts and the sect they belonged to for easy searching. He realized that his external skills were already quite popular, but what he lacked were still his internal skills and weapons. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but start searching according to the labels. Although the warehouse of the Royal Guards is open to insiders, there is still a strict level division. People with a general flag identity like Lin who cannot access some of the top dot level martial arts. Therefore, Lin who had to carefully search, hoping to extract a general from among the dwarves. Finally, after searching for half a day, Lin who selected two secret books. One of them is the Chuanjin School's Golden Wild Goose Skill, which should not be unfamiliar to those familiar with The Legend of the Condor Heroes. Although it may not be considered high dot end, it is indeed an authentic internal skill of the Xianmen sect, which is most suitable as a foundation. The other book is Five Tiger Broken Door Saber, from the Kinjiazhai in Yunzhou, which is easy to learn and master, and has considerable power when facing enemies, among the martial arts that Lin who currently has access to, these two secret books should be the most cost.effective. Lin whose current understanding is almost like an open-loop existence, so he only spent an afternoon roughly mastering the essence of two secret books. The system also timely reminded Lin Hu to master two new martial arts, but they are still at the beginner level. If he wants to continue improving, he can only rely on Lin Hu's gradual cultivation in the future. After mastering the martial arts, Lin Hu left the room. At this moment, the sun was already in the west, and a faint golden glow emanated from the setting sun. Lin who couldn't help but stretch lazily. At this moment, the door to the main room also opened, and three people walked out from inside. The first one was wearing a white flying fish suit, with a beautiful appearance that was even higher than the flower queen in the Yanchun building. Unfortunately, such a beauty is actually a man, Lin who couldn't help but feel this emotion every time he saw the other person. In fact, this is the most popular celebrity in the royal guards today. Nangong Xiaoqing, 
whose grandfather once followed Taizu to establish the country, and whose father followed the current Emperor Yongle to rise up in Jingnan, can be said to be a meritorious achievement. With the help of his father's legacy, Nangong Xiaoqing obtained the official position of Qianhu in the Royal Guards when he was in his teens. However, if you think he is just a playboy who can rely on his family background, you are completely wrong. This person has a high talent in martial arts and is willing to work hard. He reached the Yuhan realm before the age of 20, and his Taiyi sword technique is superb. Even the current top expert of the Royal Guards, Wang Honglai, has said that Nangong Xiaoqing can replace him before he is 30 years old. Lin Hu is highly skilled in martial arts, young and beautiful, with a promising future. He seems to be a winner in life no matter how he looks. If he had to pick out any flaws for Nangong Xiaoqing, it might have been too arrogant. After knowing him for so many years, it's rare for him to use false language towards anyone, not only towards his subordinates, but also towards Su Dad as high. Ranking Officials If it weren't for this, he wouldn't have been just a thousand households to this day. Of course, Nangong Xiaoqing himself doesn't seem to care about this. For him, success seems to be a matter of time, and he doesn't need to, or even disdain, deliberately pursue it. This is also what many people don't like about him, after all, comparing those guys to him makes them seem tacky and unbearable. Following behind Nangong Xiaoqing were 200 households under his command, Long Yongfu and Long Yonggui brothers. These two were notorious snobbish figures in the royal guards, who saw high praise and low praise. In the past two years, as Nangong Xiaoqing became increasingly popular, they surrounded him all day long, flattering and flattering him. However, Lin Hu here has always been a straightforward person who dislikes the Long brothers the most. Therefore, both sides are at odds. I didn't expect to meet him here today, it can be said that the enemy's path is narrow. Long Yongfu immediately noticed Lin Hu and couldn't help but sneer, Oh, today the sun is setting in the west, and Lin Hu, you have also come to the warehouse. Do you also want to learn art? I think it's better to forget it, just practice the five tigers chasing the wind blade with your understanding ability, which is considered good. Upon hearing this, Lin Hu sneered and said, Thirty years in the east and thirty years in the west of the river, don't deceive young people into being poor. However, it's no wonder that the dog's eyes are somewhat low on people. Upon hearing this, Long Yonggui immediately stopped and said, Who are you cursing? What do you care about me? I haven't named anyone, I've seen anyone picking up money, I've never seen anyone picking up and being scolded. Lin Hu, don't bully anyone too much. Long Yonggui said, clasping Lin Hu's shoulder. In fact, with Lin Hu's current skills, it's not difficult to dodge this, but he deliberately didn't do so. Before Long Yonggui could be proud, he suddenly felt his internal strength rapidly leaking out. Although he didn't understand the details, he also guessed that Lin Hu was causing trouble. At that time, he wanted to pull his hand back, but there seemed to be a suction force on Lin whose body that tightly pulled him back. What the hell are you doing? Long Yonggui exclaimed, struggling desperately but to no avail. Yonggui. Seeing his brother suffer losses, Long Yongfu stopped working. He stepped forward and tried to pull him away from Lin Hu, but was grabbed by Lin Hu's wrist. At the same time, he also felt that his internal strength began to leak out. As he watched the Long brothers weaken, Lin Hu suddenly felt someone approaching him. Lin Hu, let's stop at the appropriate time. Lin Hu could tell that the person speaking was Nangong Xiaoqing, and the other person was warning. Lin Hu understood that with his current strength, he could not challenge Nangong Xiaoqing. After all, he had taught the Long brothers a lesson. Therefore, at that time, Lin Hu chose to let go of the two. Nevertheless, these two were sitting on the ground panting heavily, as if they had just experienced a fierce battle. What the hell did you do, Lin Hu? Long Yongfu first recovered and glared angrily at Lin Hu, pulling out his own sword. At this moment, the gatekeeper seemed to notice that the situation was getting out of control and quickly came over to say. 
Alas, don't use the knife. Who's to blame for breaking something? If you have any personal grievances, go outside and solve them. We can't let you mess around here. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. Ali. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 Ali Long Yongfu has also heard rumors about Lao Hu, and he wouldn't dare to make a mistake when he said so. At this moment, Nangong Xiaoqing also glared at Long Yongfu and said, Do you still think it's not embarrassing enough? Put away the knife. Long Yongfu didn't dare to disobey the orders of his immediate superior. At that time, he had to put away his sword and help his brother walk outside, because the two of them had not regained their internal strength at this time, and their walking was unsteady, as if they were drunk, which was quite comical. At this moment, Nangong Xiaoqing was looking at Lin Hu with a sharp gaze, as if he was about to see through Lin Hu. I heard De Yong say, what you learned is called the great method of transformation. Upon hearing that the other party already knew, Lin Hu nodded and admitted. The martial arts are good, but it's a bit too sinister. It's a blessing in disguise, but it's hard to predict. You should take it easy. Nangong Xiaoqing didn't wait for Lin Hu's reply before turning around and leaving the warehouse with the Long Brothers, leaving only a faint fragrance in the air. What's your aura? Sooner or later, I'll take your place. Lin Hu couldn't help but look disdainful as he watched the other person go far away. What's the use of speaking harshly behind your back? If you really have the ambition, you have to take action, said Old Hu beside him at this moment. Lin Hu knew that Lao Hu was actually facing him, and at that time he smiled faintly without arguing. At this moment, as the sun set in the west, Lin Hu accepted a body search according to the rules, confirmed that he had not carried anything, and was allowed to leave the warehouse. On the way home, Lin Hu bought some food and drink. Watching the busy scene of people returning home after a day of work, Lin Hu felt a sense of peace in his heart. Perhaps this was the so dot called human fireworks. As Lin Hu was walking, he suddenly heard a woman's scream coming from a nearby alley. Lin Hu was taken aback and turned around to see several men pulling a woman, who was trying his best to resist. What are you doing? Lin Hu couldn't help but shout loudly when he saw this. The few men were all stunned upon hearing this, as if they didn't expect anyone to meddle in their affairs. Looking at Lin Hu dressed in the attire of the royal guards, these people couldn't help but be surprised. At this moment, the woman seemed to have seized the opportunity and quickly broke free, running to Lin Hu's side. Grandpa, help me. Lin Hu lowered his head and looked at the woman, who was about twenty years old and had a clear and beautiful appearance. At this moment, due to the previous tug at her, her appearance was a bit messy and even more pitiful. Lin who couldn't help but feel sympathetic for a moment and comforted, don't be afraid, how will things happen? At this moment, one of the men stood up and said, Grandpa, it's best for you not to worry about this matter. Upon hearing this, Lin who couldn't help but stare and say, Why, you're teasing women on the street and not allowing anyone else to take care of you. This is a place under the feet of the emperor where there is royal law. If you dare to act recklessly, believe it or not, I'll send you to the Yaman. The man said, Grandpa, you don't know. This woman owes us money and refuses to pay it back. We are taking her back to find a way to offset the debt. It is only natural for us to repay the debt. Even if we file a lawsuit, we can still make sense. Lin who really didn't know the inside story, so he immediately turned his head and asked the woman, are they telling the truth? The woman nodded helplessly and said, I did indeed borrow money from them to help my father treat his illness, but I didn't expect the interest to accumulate more and more. We are poor people who can't afford it for a while. So they said they want to sell me to Yanshun building to offset the debt. Upon hearing this, Lin Hu realized that the woman had borrowed a high interest loan but could not repay it. This kind of thing belongs to the gray area of the world here, and even if there is a real lawsuit, it can be quite troublesome. However, since Lin Hu intervened, it is not convenient to leave the matter unattended. Lin Hu pondered and asked the man, 
how much money does she owe you in total? The total cost and profit are forty tails of silver. Upon hearing this, Lin Hu took out a few pieces of broken silver from his arms and threw them to the other party, saying, I have taken care of her account. Today, I didn't bring so much cash with me when I went out. There are about ten tails here, and the remaining thirty tails. Please provide me with your address and I will deliver them to you tomorrow. A few people picked up the silver and weighed it, then glanced at each other, appearing somewhat hesitant. What if you don't deliver it tomorrow? Lin Hu sneered and patted the sword symbolizing identity on his waist, saying, Do I know how to cheat? Do you have any options? A few men whispered and discussed for a while, but in the end, they seemed to feel that Lin Hu was an official and couldn't afford to offend him. Finally, they picked up the silver and said, Changle Gambling House in Fugue Lane, Dongcheng. It's best for you to keep your word, sir. Don't worry, prepare the promissory note and wait. A few men then left the alley feeling quite unwilling, and it wasn't until then that Lin who turned his head to comfort the woman, don't worry, it's okay. The woman looked quite excited at Lin Hu and suddenly leaned her head against him, crying out loud. At first, Lin Hu was also momentarily stunned, but then he realized that the other party had just emerged from danger, and now it was reasonable for them to be emotionally excited. Now, he let the other party lean on him, thinking that he would wait until the woman's emotions stabilized a bit before speaking. However, at this moment, Lin Hu suddenly felt a sharp pain in his left abdomen, as if someone was violently striking with a blunt object. Lin Hu realized that the situation was not good, and quickly pushed the woman away. He then looked at her hand, which had an additional dagger with blood on it at some point. At that time, the woman looked at the dagger and then at Lin Hu's lower abdomen, appearing quite surprised. It seemed that in her eyes, the damage caused by this blow was too light. At that time, she rushed towards Lin Hu again, and her originally beautiful features now became twisted and ferocious. However, Lin Hu did not intend to give him a second chance to succeed. At that time, Lin Hu grabbed the woman's wrist. The latter had originally intended to stab the dagger into it, but suddenly felt her internal strength rapidly disappearing. She couldn't help but be shocked and didn't understand what had happened. She intended to retract the dagger, but found that her arm seemed to be sucked in by some force, making it impossible to break free. Not long after, the woman collapsed to the ground as if she had collapsed. Lin Hu was leaning against the courtyard wall of the nearby house, touching his lower abdomen with his hand, which was covered in blood. The wound was not very painful, but slightly tingling. However, this was exactly what Lin Hu was most worried about, as it meant that the dagger might be poisonous. Lin Hu knew the situation was urgent, so he persevered and came to the entrance of the alley to call for help. Fortunately, there were many pedestrians coming and going on the street at this time, so Lin Hu was quickly rescued, and the woman was also arrested by the official who rushed to hear the news. The Tang Tang Jinyui was assassinated on the street, and this case can be said to be of a bad nature. Therefore, the company attaches great importance to it and sends people to intensify the investigation of this case while fully treating Lin Hu. In fact, Lin Hu's external injury was not severe. According to the doctor, it seems that Lin Hu had already reached a considerable level of maturity in practicing the Nine Dragons and Lions technique. Therefore, at that time, the woman's stab was blocked and accidentally punctured. The real trouble was that the dagger had been poisoned, and it was not an ordinary poison. Fortunately, Lin Hu had diluted some of the toxicity with the Hua Gong technique, but it could not be completely cured for a while. End of this chapter Chapter 9. Tianxiang Cardamom. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Tianxiang Cardamom, if that's the case, what consequences would Lin Zongqi have? Vice Qin Hu Li Zhongyi couldn't help but ask the doctor who came with him at the time, because Qin Hu Zhang Deong is still investigating in Hongzhou, so now Lin Hu and others' affairs are temporarily under his responsibility. Most people may not be able to hold on for seven days, but General Lin has a special physique and should be able to hold on for ten days. 
However, no matter how long it takes, it may be more ominous. Li Zhongyi couldn't help but feel anxious upon hearing this and said, Is there nothing we can do? The doctor hesitated for a moment and said, That's not true, but it doesn't seem much different whether or not to say it. How come you, doctor, speak hesitantly? As long as there is a way, feel free to say it. Whether it can be done or not is our responsibility. Oh, actually, the only way to detoxify Lin Zongqi now is through the Tianxiang cardamom produced in the western regions, but this medicinal herb is too precious. As far as I know, there are only two places in Nanjing that have it. Which two places? Lin Hu and Li Zhongyi asked almost in unison. One is the Imperial Palace. As soon as the doctor said this, Lin Hu and others immediately vented their anger. Yes, the emperor is wealthy all over the world, and there is nothing good about him. But Lin Hu is just a small banner of the royal guards. We can't expect the royal family to give him such precious medicinal herbs for no reason. This road seems to be impassable. However, Li Zhongyi was still somewhat unwilling and continued to ask, what about another place? Settle down in the western suburbs. Upon hearing this, Lin Hu and others suddenly realized that the ancestors of the Yin family were Hu people from the western regions. They came to the central plains for business during the Yuan dynasty and have since taken root here. After several generations of management, they are now the wealthy side, and their financial strength is said to be comparable to that of Shen Wan San, who was once wealthy enough to rival the country. The Shen family, if anyone else besides the royal family could have such rare treasures as fragrant cardamom, it seems that they can only be them. However, this path may seem easier, but it is actually quite tricky. Although Anjia is not a member of the official family, due to its wealth and close relationship with many high dot ranking officials, it has some influence. Even the invincible Jinyui dare not easily offend them. It is currently unknown whether the other party will sell the precious items such as Tianxiang Duku. I can't care about so much now. I'll send someone to come and talk to you, even if it's for Lao Lin. Li Zhongyi said with a final slap on his thigh, as if he had made up his mind. Upon hearing this, Lin Hu couldn't help but be quite moved. He knew that Li Zhongyi was just his name and had a strong sense of loyalty towards his colleagues. However, Lin Hu vaguely felt that this attempt might not go so smoothly. Sure enough, the person who was sent to seek medicine returned shortly. Li Zhongyi quickly asked about the result, but the other party shook their heads repeatedly and said, the Yin family refused to give up anything. They said that their head, and Si Yuan, had a strange illness and needed to rely on this fragrant cardamom to treat it. Strange illness. What strange illness? Li Zhongyi couldn't help but wonder at the time. I heard that an Si Yuan offended his enemy and was injected with several different types of true qi, which conflicted with each other and caused him unbearable suffering. Isn't this Lin Hu Chong? Lin Hu was lying in bed and couldn't help but mutter, but suddenly a flash of inspiration flashed in his mind. Lin Hu Chong's illness was finally cured by practicing the star-absorbing technique. His transformation technique is of the same origin as it. Can he also heal and see Yuan's injury as a result? If so, can the other party give up Tianxiang cardamom? Thinking of this, Lin Hu shared his calculations with Li Zhongyi and others. But Lao Lin, you are still injured and have difficulty moving. Li Zhongyi couldn't help but hesitate upon hearing this. But if it weren't for Tianxiang cardamom, I would have died sooner or later. It's better to take a risk and give it a try. Li Zhongyi and others saw that Lin Hu was resolute in his attitude, and what he said was also reasonable. In the end, with a mentality of being a dead horse and a living horse doctor, they sent Lin Hu to settle down in the western suburbs. After explaining their intention to An's family, they were initially skeptical, but perhaps too worried about An Si Yuan's condition. In the end, they agreed to let Lin Hu give it a try. In this way, Lin Hu was carried to An Si Yuan's bedroom by someone. The entire room was adorned with magnificent furnishings, and even the experienced members of the royal guards couldn't help but admire it. 
and Siyuan was lying on a meticulously crafted frame bed, probably made of yellow pear, which was valuable and well suited to his wealthy identity. However, looking at Siyuan himself, who was as thin as a skeleton covered in human skin, it was terrifying. At this moment, An Shobin, An Siyuan's eldest son, rushed to Lin Hu and said, Master General Flag, can you really cure my father's illness? I dare not say I am completely confident, but I can give it a try. In fact, Lin Hu was also tormented by the poison at this time. Now, he had almost no sensation below his right waist, and he couldn't help but shiver. However, even so, he still forcefully grabbed and see Yuan's pulse with his hand. At that time, Lin Hu felt a surge of internal energy rebounding with a fierce force. According to theory, and Si Yuan was not a martial arts practitioner and should not have such strong internal energy. It seemed that it was caused by various true qi injected by his enemies. If ordinary people were to face such a situation, it would be a bit tricky, but what Lin Hu was least afraid of was these. At that time, he used the Hua Gong de Fa to eliminate these true qi. And Si Yuan's originally furrowed brow gradually relaxed, and a gentle and peaceful expression appeared on his face. The in family present had not seen him in such a state for a long time, and for a moment, they were all uplifted. Some even shed tears in excitement. After about a cup of hot tea, Lin who basically eliminated the exotic true qi in An Si Yuan's body before slowly releasing his hand and saying, all right, there won't be any recurrence of An's illness without any accidents. And Shobin excitedly knelt down to Lin Hu on the spot and said, Thank you very much, General Flag Master, for saving my father. This kindness and virtue will never be forgotten when I settle down. As he took the lead in settling down, everyone knelt down one after another. Lin Hu wanted to help, but he also had difficulty moving, so he immediately said weakly, I did this for a reason. Someone who came before should have told you that I was poisoned and I need to rely on the Tianxian cardamom in the mansion to cure it. I hope Lorden can help me. It's easy to say, this Tianxian cardamom was originally used to treat my father's illness. Now that the general flag master has cured my father, this physics should be presented as a gift. Someone, hurry up and take the Tianxian cardamom and give it to all the masters. Not long after, someone brought a tray with a brocade box inside. As soon as they opened the room, a strong aroma filled the air. Just smelling it was refreshing, and the box contained Tianxian cardamom. Lin who was overjoyed when he saw this, and suddenly felt that everything was spinning around. Then, it turned dark and he fainted. When Lin who woke up again and found himself lying in a strange room, he turned his head to see Li Zhongyi and several other guards waiting by. Everyone was quite happy to see him wake up. Lao Lin, you're awake. Where am I? This is An's house. You fainted in Mr. An's room before, and everyone quickly carried you to the guest room. Oh, I remember. What's wrong with me? End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Mingjiao You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Mingjiao, it's nothing, the doctor said that after being poisoned, your body weakened and you used your internal strength to treat Mr. N's illness, so you temporarily collapsed. However, it was also a blessing in disguise. Now, with the help of Dr. Tianxian Cardamom, you have been detoxified. As long as you take the medicine on time, the doctor said that you will recover in a few days. Upon hearing this, Lin Hu was also delighted. After trying it, the numbness he had felt before had subsided significantly, and he seemed to be less uncomfortable. Lin Hu couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief at that time. Everyone was chatting when An Shobin came in with someone. When they saw that Lin Hu was awake, they were also quite happy. It's great that you don't have any facts, Mr. Lin. This is called auspicious people have their own destiny. Lin who couldn't help but politely say a few words upon hearing this, and then asked, How is Mr. N doing? The doctor has checked and said that the heterologous true qi in my father's body has been completely eliminated. As long as he is well regulated, there will be no more major problems in the future. 
Thanks to Mr. Lin's help, our whole family is extremely grateful. From now on, you will be our benefactor in settling down. If you have any needs, feel free to speak up. Even if we settle down, we will not hesitate. Lin who said, Young Masterin, you have spoken too seriously. Actually, we each take what we need. If it weren't for the Tianxiang cardamom in the mansion, my life would probably not have been saved. We are even on this matter, and no one deserves to owe anyone. Although that's the case, we can't forget our kindness when we settle down. In short, Mr. Lin, we have made friends with you. At this moment, Li Zhongyi also spoke up and said, Old Lin, since Prince An is full of sincerity, why do you have to refuse people thousands of miles away? As Li Zhongyi spoke, he tried his best to impress Lin Hu and make him agree. Lin Hu understood what Li Zhongyi meant. The In family is a wealthy businessman with wealth and power. If we could establish a good relationship with them, it would not only benefit Lin Hu himself but also the entire royal guards. Thinking of this, Lin Hu ultimately had to agree. It's rare for everyone in a mansion to value it. Since that's the case, let's keep coming and going in the future. And Shobin was very happy to hear that Lin Hu had agreed to make friends. In the following days, Lin Hu was left to live in a mansion, and all expenses were borne by an family. Food, drink, daily life, and even medication were the most exquisite. Material life was comparable to that of a prince. Thanks to this environment, Lin Hu recovered quickly and was able to get out of bed and move around in a few days. On this day, An Siyuan came to visit Lin Hu with the company of his family. Although he was still quite thin, his complexion was much better than the first time he met. It seemed that his illness had also improved. Thanks to General Flag Lin, I was able to recover this time. We will never forget this kindness and virtue when we settle down. Mr. An's words are serious. I have also told your son before that this time our two families will each take what they need. If it weren't for the Tianxian cardamom from your mansion, I wouldn't have had it today. Lin Zongqi is young, and it's rare for him to take credit without being arrogant. Mr. An praised me too much. By the way, I have one more thing that I'm not sure about. Can I ask for your advice in person? But it doesn't matter. How did Master and acquire these exotic true qi? In my opinion, this is not something that a single person can accomplish. And Si Yuan felt a little embarrassed upon hearing this, and finally sighed, these are all absurd things from my youth. They were not enough to deal with outsiders, but Mr. Lin is my benefactor, and I will no longer hide many things. At this point, An Si Yuan looked out the window with a melancholy expression, and then told Lin Hu a story. The An family originally came from the western regions. Although they have settled and taken root in the central plains, the Silk Road is still an important source of trade for them. When An Siyuan was young, he followed his own caravan several times to the western regions, and it is said that he had reached Persia as far as possible, which is why things started. The most important religion in the area was originally the worship of fire, but its influence gradually declined with the changing times. One of them later evolved into the famous Ming religion, which had great influence in both Persia and Middle Earth. And in Siyuan once met a woman from the western regions in the local area. At that time, both of them were still very young, and after spending a long time together, they inevitably developed feelings. This was not surprising in itself. However, later on, An Siyuan found out that the woman he liked was not an ordinary person, but one of the three great saints of the Ming Church. There is a very unique tradition in Mingjiao, which is that the leader must be a woman, and must be a virgin symbolizing holiness. Often, the congregation will select three outstanding women from the collective as saints, who are considered reserve leaders. Once the old leader dies or leaves for some reason, the next leader will be elected from these three saints. And for the Saint Mingjiao who has lost her virginity, she is never lenient and often gets burned. The woman who fell in love with An Siyuan at the time was afraid of these things, so she hoped that An Siyuan would flee back to the central plains with her. However, An Siyuan retreated at that time. 
He knew that Ming Xiao had a great influence in the western regions and couldn't afford to offend him, so he eventually left the girl and said goodbye without saying goodbye. From then on, he never dared to set foot in Persia again. Decades passed in the blink of an eye, and in Si Yuan had inherited his family business, married, and had children, becoming a wealthy tycoon on the wealthy side. Everything looked very happy, but occasionally thinking of the beautiful girl from the past made in Si Yuan feel guilty and even afraid, worried about retaliation. However, the fact proved that in Si Yuan's concerns were not unnecessary. Half a year ago, and Si Yuan attended a social gathering and was attacked by a group of people on his way back to the mansion. It should be said that there were many bodyguards in En's mansion, some of whom were famous experts in the martial arts world. However, he was still vulnerable to this group of people, and in the end, the other party came to En Si Yuan's face. At first, En Si Yuan thought the other party was trying to kidnap him, but when he saw the leader of the other party, he couldn't help but be taken aback. According to Nsi Yuan, she was a young woman in her twenties and obviously not from the Central Plains. However, what really surprised Nsi Yuan was that she looked too much like the lover she had betrayed in the past. Ayamu and Nsi Yuan almost instinctively called out the name that left a lasting impression on himself at that time. You still have the face to inscribe her name, you treacherous coward, the leader of the other party couldn't help but scold at the time. She spoke Chinese very fluently. Who exactly are you? And Si Yuan couldn't help but ask at the time. Ayamu is my aunt, and Si Yuan suddenly realized upon hearing this sentence, and everything seemed to have a reasonable explanation. Do you want to kill me to avenge her? You were half right. We were indeed here to avenge her, but we didn't want to just kill you like this. I want you to suffer all the torture and die in pain to redeem you for the crime you committed. The other party not only said that but also did so. Then they injected a few streams of true energy into an Si Yuan's body, and these true energies fought repeatedly in his body, causing chaos. As a result, an Si Yuan hardly received a moment of peace in the past six months. If it weren't for the sake of his family, he would even wish to settle it on his own until Lin who came to his door. End of this chapter